everyone, Karen Roby and James Sanders here for Tech Republic. Uh, talking about a review today that James, uh, you put together for us here on Tech Republic. Tell us what this is called and uh, some of the features. So this is the Onyx Books Max 3, and I'm really not sure about the name. It's B-O-O-X, so maybe it's maybe it's just supposed to be books, books but that, that long O is a little bit, a uh, little easy to get tripped up on there. So this is a 13-inch e-ink tablet, mm -hmm. and it's really quite rare to see an e-ink device at 13 inches, and it runs Android 9. And it's it really lightweight. It really is. It's 490 grams, mm -hmm. so when you look at the iPad Pro that's like 12.9 inch, the 2018 model, that's going to add another 250 grams, so it's about two-thirds the weight of an iPad Pro. Mm -hmm. There's a couple ways that they got to this. E-ink screens are a little bit lighter, so you don't have that weight and there's no glass on it. So it's a little bit less protected than an iPad Pro mm -hmm. because there's no glass, but it's not a particularly fragile device. Like when you hold it, it feels pretty solid, doesn't it? It does. It really does. Yeah, it's surprisingly, it is. So for being an all plastic device, it still feels pretty premium, mm -hmm. which is an accomplishment. And Onyx has been doing this for about seven years now. So they've, they've done this before. They know what they're doing in terms of device design. There are a few interesting quirks to it. So let's turn it on here and mm -hmm. pull this back up. And because it's an e-ink display, it refreshes like an e-ink display. So if you've ever had an Amazon Kindle right. or a Barnes & Noble Nook that uses e-ink or like a Rakuten Kobo, they all use the same type of display sourced from the same manufacturers. Mm -hmm. And this is, so we're looking at Extraordinary Comics, which is <laughs> fantastic and you should check it out. <laughs> but if we go over to, let's say, Tech Republic, it refreshes like that. Mm -hmm. Because it's e-ink, it scrolls a little bit unevenly. But the refresh rate isn't terrible for an mm -hmm. e-ink display. It's just one of those things that this doesn't work exactly the same way. And like you just saw there, it flashes it, a little bit. Right. And that is to reduce ghosting. So when you when you slide, there can be kind of tiny remnants of what was there before. Mm -hmm. So if you have really dark text that moves upward, you can see a little bit of it. But when it flashes like that, it's refreshing the display so it removes that ghosting. Okay. And overall, it works decently well. It runs Android 9, so you can install any app you want. It does come with the Kindle app preloaded, so if you already have a Kindle, if you already have an Amazon account, mm -hmm. you can load all of that content on here. It works just the same as it does on any other Android tablet. Fundamentally, this is an Android tablet. Right. And it, it has the type of experience that you would expect from that, which is not always positive. Mm -hmm. Trying to do Android tablets, a lot of it, a lot of Android apps just feel like blown up phone apps. And when you go to 13 inch, that becomes very noticeable. So there are some kind of negative attributes to it. Like all of these other e-ink devices don't run Android because it's not really tailored to this type of screen. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see why in certain cases, but it's also kind of convenient to have the option. So you can install Gmail, you can use it for mail. It has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. You can connect like wireless headphones if you want to do eBooks. But I don't know why you would want to do that on a 13 inch tablet unless you're reading along necessarily. And it, it's that type of thing that is this going to work? It really depends on your use case. So it's really nice for comics mm -hmm. to have a really large display like this. It's really great for, like if you have a PDF, and like, keep in mind this is more of an international device, so it's more tailored for the A4 page format, which is used everywhere outside of the US. Right. But for, for this, it can display an A4 page natively, and so you don't have to deal with scaling problems. It looks really nice when you're looking at printed content. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to do things a little more interactive, if you're trying to look at video on it, it can do it, but it, It'll look a little weird because mm -hmm. it's an e-ink display. What about price? So there's there's a lot packed in here, mm -hmm. and there's a lot to keep in mind. That so this runs on a Snapdragon 625, which is a decent high mid tier chip that you would have running a decent you know high mid tier smartphone. Mm -hmm. E-ink displays are also expensive, and it has 64 gigs of flash and four gigs of RAM, and that is a lot for an Android device. Mm -hmm but it's $860. Whoa. 
So when you compare that to the Kindle, keep in mind that Amazon is kind of subsidizing the price of that hardware mm -hmm. because you're locked into their store. And yeah, there's a store here for public domain books and all that's free and you can just download that through the default system software. Mm -hmm. You can add Google Play Books, you can add the Kindle store, you can add whatever ebook store you want, you can add Comixology. The possibilities are limited to what Android can do, mm -hmm. which is pretty versatile. But it is an expensive device because yep. 13 inch for an e ink screen, the bill, of, the bill of materials is going to be really high to build this device to begin with. And they don't have the scale that Amazon has for getting people into an ecosystem where they can make money back on content purchase. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's gonna be closer to this price point. Okay, all right. Well, and you've got your full re uh, review up on Tech Republic. So mm -hmm. make sure you check it out there. Thanks for watching.